Hi, so I decided to make this video because uh, thanks to Durash, I have the opportunity of have a brand new Golden Melody that he was nice enough to send me. Um, and yeah, I think sometimes when have like this um, doubts of if you're like good enough to play those overblows or maybe it's your instrument the, the one that is not good enough to like let you play or your ideas on all this um, new world of music that uh, you have available in a fully chromatic uh, instrument right so yeah I I think that uh, the thing we're gonna do in this video for today is like we're gonna see how I unbox it like this is for you to like actually um, no, that is a brand new, no, uh, gapping, nor any, any, any kind of wear adjustments or, or, or basic adjustments is not, is not being done, is right out of the box. Okay, so now let's open this box. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I actually noticed, there's like way too much air like flowing. It's not, um, it's not playable. It's, um, uh, one actually needs to like, uh, have a, a lot of adjustment. Um, everything is, the gapping is way too open. Yeah, the idea of this video was actually to try to, um, let me just grab my B flat. Um, this is an Marine Band Deluxe. Um, this Marine Band Deluxe has been adjusted by a Victoria Silva. He's actually like uh, the only certified honor technician here in Mexico. Uh, so he's the one who actually like helped me with the adjustments of my, of my harmonicas. So well, the idea of this video was actually to try to see if you can play like a simple um, exercise. <laughs> This is way too hard. Overblow in the first uh, channel is impossible. Um, even the bands are actually quite hard to take to get. That's a, uh, this is a B flat, so that will be an A flat.
over draw on the seven uh, hole is impossible. <laughs> okay, so let's take this um, to another level, right? So uh, I'm actually really bad at this, so I'm not like a great, great technician or anything. Um, I just know like really, really basic stuff about just like making some adjustments in the harmonica. We're gonna try to make at least the third hole to channel to actually work because it, it doesn't work at all. So, so the way I'm opening this harmonica is way this. Yeah, as I said, the gapping is way too open, so I cannot even see. Okay, no, it's whatever. There you go. So that gap is way too open. So we're gonna just pull them. Like a lot. Yeah, first of all, was the first one was awful. <laughs> So we still have to close this. Okay, blue ones. Yeah, actually, pick the other. Close the blue ones. So this is just paper clip, actually. I'm using just paper clip. to make that third hole at least work a little bit better. We still have to close the other, the other yeah, the gaps in the other ones, so. Okay. okay, so definitely, yeah, the golden melody is, uh, at least the one I got is way too open to manage even just to play like normally. Um, I would say like my advice is even if you're not gonna play overblows and uh, you're gonna play like uh, more traditional, usually yeah, the golden melody is not like um, the standard model for you to play blues uh, because of the temperament they use is so the chords are not that even, um, but yeah. Um, I will, yeah, the chorus are a little bit fluctua fluctuation in, in those notes. So, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't use this harmonica or a golden melody out of the box just to keep on playing. I will like seriously advise just to close the gaps, close like really seriously the gaps, the gaps were like the space between the reeds and the reed plates are way too too much so just close them so uh, it's really important i think for even for like first uh maybe not not like brand new beginners but people that has like maybe after a month i uh, i will advise and i advise like uh, most of my students uh that a day um close the gaps and customize a little bit their harmonicas so they can actually um, have a better technique. If not, you're gonna get this sense of, or just these mechanics of trying to blow too hard, trying to um, make the, the harmonica to respond. And when the gaps are that high, yeah, you can make it uh, have a little bit of uh, response, but it's not, it's not the same as, as having an harmonica that is responsive, right? So now the, the third hole uh, draw is actually uh, working a little bit better. We 
we still can get that uh, overblow on the four, on the four hole. I actually didn't get anything about it. But maybe like that, but in an actual phrase. It's not working. <laughs> if you study and your technique is not as good and you develop a technique that is like for a really bad adjusted uh, instrument, the path you're gonna take to um, trying to accomplish whatever you wanna do is gonna be longer than if you like trust your gut and try to uh, improve your instrument uh, the same at uh, the same way you are improving yourself right so yeah I think that's that's the main idea when you think you are improving trying to improve your instrument I hope this video is helpful for for the people who is trying to improve and at some point they don't actually know uh, what they are doing wrong and yeah it's it's a great way always to try to improve yourself but um, at some point you actually ha also have to doubt of your instrument and have to doubt if your instrument is good enough for you to keep improving right so that's why I think this video was actually important so because everyone is always saying like, oh, I, you just need to play more, you just need to blow more, you just need to get right into it. And sometimes, yeah, the instrument needs uh, a little twitch and eventually uh, your basic techniques uh, in custom, custom is in customization and your basic techniques in trying to improve your um, your harmonica is not gonna be good enough and that's where you're gonna see that you're actually gonna need a technician a professional technician to actually help you um, build a better instrument for yourself right okay